In this video today, I'm gonna to tell you about a new product from Printify and how this will change print-on-demand forever. This gives us, as print-on-demand sellers, access into a $199 billion trend within the world of e-commerce for the first time. It gives us similar access to brand creation strategies that celebrities you know, like Rihanna or even Kylie Jenner, or brands like Amazon or Trader Joe's, have been using to launch products for a long time. Now, traditionally, with print-on-demand, we are selling products where a design is basically just going on an item. Something like a t-shirt, something like a tank top, a hoodie, a phone case, posters for the wall, and things like that. Now with Printify's newest product launch, we have access as print-on-demand sellers into an entirely new category of products. And this is very important for anybody who is looking to make money with print-on-demand to know and to understand how this is going to change print-on-demand over the next five to ten years. And yes, this is print-on-demand coffee, but what I'm talking about here is much bigger than print-on-demand coffee. With this launch, we now have access for the first time through a print-on-demand supplier to consumer packaged goods, also known as CPG products. Basically, before this, we only had access to what are called durable goods, and now we have access to consumer packaged goods, CPG products. These are items that are used daily by average consumers that require routine replacement or replenishment. This is one of the largest sectors in the U.S. economy, and a lot of the products that you currently already use are likely CPG items. CPG items could include cleaning products, makeup, protein powder, vitamins, other supplements, and makeup and coffee, which Printify just actually launched. I recently shared this photo of this coffee here inside of my Print On Demand Facebook group, and honestly, I think a lot of people are missing the point and misunderstanding what this actually means for us as Print On Demand sellers. If we scroll down into the comments, a few people had some negative things to say about this. One said that Printify should stick to printing, and then someone else just said terrible. I also found a post inside of the Printify Facebook group where someone commented and said, you lost me here, guys. Someone else brought up the point that these types of products cannot be sold on Etsy. They also said they had a hard time understanding why anyone would buy these types of products. But again, people are missing the larger point. Print on demand is evolving. Selling t-shirts and mugs on Etsy is not the future of print on demand. The opportunity with print on demand is that we can start businesses. We can start brands. We can sell products online without ever having to order inventory in advance. We never have to deal with any shipping because the supplier that we're using does it for us. Selling t-shirts and mugs on marketplaces like Redbubble and Etsy is just a phenomenon. This sort of thing is not going to take us into the future over the next five to ten years of print on demand. This commenter right here gets it. They said, I think this is cool and I am definitely interested in seeing the world of POD open up to new products in the coming years. This is an article here from Printify that talks about how by the year 2031, the print on demand industry is going to reach $39 billion in sales. Put that in perspective, in 2022, it was under 6 billion. This article here says basically the same thing that by the year 2030, we are going to see a 25% annual growth rate, which will bring us to about $38 billion in sales. That sort of growth is going to be fueled by innovation like print on demand coffee and other CPG products as well. And even some of the other awesome print on demand items that already exist. And to really understand why I'm so excited about this, you first have to understand how we even got here in the first place. If you're trying to make money with print on demand, it would be a good thing for you to understand why this is so cool. I found this website here and you might not know this, but print on demand actually dates back almost 2000 years ago, where in China they developed a process that they essentially called print on demand. That's not the point of what I'm trying to show you. Print on demand really started with these two guys here. It says that these guys made a t-shirt and now Silicon Valley is giving them millions. If you read this article, it tells the story about how these two guys wanted to start creating t-shirts, but ultimately could not afford to actually print all the shirts in advance. So what they did is they put up a one-page website promising they'd print the shirts if they got enough pre-orders. And if you don't know who these guys are, they're actually the people that co-founded the company Teespring. In the year 2013, they developed Teespring where anybody could create shirts, they could launch pre-orders, and if they got enough pre-orders, then the shirt would actually print. This was the first time that people could actually create a t-shirt brand and not have to order the merchandise in advance. This then continued with Amazon Merch, where in 2015, Amazon Merch opened up and allowed people to print t-shirts directly on Amazon without having to get pre-orders. Meaning you could just create a t-shirt listed on Amazon and if someone bought it, Amazon would then print it for you. A few years later, during the same process as well, Printful was launched. By 2014, they hit their first million dollars in sales and they did this by offering posters, canvases, and t-shirts. Printify was also founded in 2015 and introduced tons of other products as well. And since then, print-on-demand has truly exploded. There are hundreds 
hundreds of awesome products out there that you can sell. I try my best here on my channel to show you examples of some of the newest and most profitable items that print on demand suppliers are consistently releasing. Basically what I'm saying is if you look back like 10 or 15 years ago, you could not actually start a print on demand business. Now as print on demand sellers, we can do everything from t-shirts to cutting boards and shower curtains and a whole bunch more. And the people that are saying things like this are truly missing the point of what is actually happening right now within the print on demand world. We are really at a turning point. And ultimately I'm making this video so that way you can see this trend that is emerging right now. This is going to shape the next five to 10 years of the print on demand world. As I was researching and reading some articles for this video, I read about Kylie Cosmetics and that she started this as a private label brand. Private label and white labeling are very similar, but they're also just a little bit different. What Printify is doing with this coffee is white labeling. Private labeling is when a retailer has exclusive rights to sell a product. They get involved with the manufacturer. They control a whole bunch of different elements about what is actually being sold. White labeling is taking an existing item, putting your brand, your spin on it, and offering it for sale under your name. Private labeling is a very popular way for people with a bunch of startup funds to start their own brand. They can approach a manufacturer, they can work together to create a product and then offer it with their own branding. White labeling, on the other hand, gives people a little bit more of an easier way to launch their own line of products like this coffee here, or even face creams and other cosmetics like this that is also offered through Printify now. The problem is up until now, you had to order all of that stuff in advance. If you wanted to sell your own coffee, you would need to order 10,000 items in advance before you actually launch your white label brand. Are you with me? This is a big deal. We can now start a print on demand white label business. We also have different cosmetics items inside of Printify right now. What do you think that's going to look like over the next five years? How many more consumer packaged goods or CPG products do you think companies like Printify or others will actually introduce? Imagine being able to launch your own brand of bottled water or seltzer water or protein powder. The list goes on and on and on. You can truly begin to create anything you want without actually investing in it in the beginning because you're doing print on demand. The same shift that took place when companies like Teespring came about for people looking to create their own t-shirt brand is now available to everybody who is looking to create a white label brand. This right here is an online store that I show from time to time. They do a great job. They create a bunch of products for people that love motorcycles and like being a daredevil and things like that. By the looks of it, they also seem to be doing quite well. They've got over 150,000 followers on Instagram. And again, this is a brand that creates apparel for people that love motorcycles. I'm showing you this because if you scroll down on their page, if you get past all this merchandise here, what you will actually see is that they have print on demand coffee. Actually, I'm not sure if this is print on demand coffee. They might be producing this in another way. But my point though, is this is an example of how you could use coffee to amplify an existing print on demand store that you have. Or again, you could just go create your own coffee brand, put your own logo on it and market it that way. If we click in here, they've got a description of the coffee. They've created really cool packaging for that. They've also set up a coffee subscription. This is a great way to turn an existing print on demand brand with a following 150,000 followers on Instagram into something much bigger. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could just start your own coffee brand. You could come up with a niche name for it and sell to people that are in your niche. Let's say that you love to play chess. You could create chessboard coffee. Let's say that you love to bake sourdough bread. You could create sourdough sips or something like that. My point is you could create your own coffee brand in your niche and now you can do it without investing in a lot of coffee in the beginning with Printify. And like I said, I'm excited about this because this marks a huge shift in the world of print on demand. If we are actually going to get to $38 billion in annual sales within the world of print on demand, especially seeing that right now we're at about six or seven billion per year, products like this are what are going to take us there. Creating your own package for the coffee is very easy here on Printify. They have a whole bunch of different options in here, a bunch of different roasts as well. If we click in here, you can see that they've got some great mock-ups for this. And again, what you're actually selling is a bag of coffee, but what you're doing is you're designing the exterior. You are essentially white labeling coffee. They've got a description on here about the actual product, the size, the roast, the taste, where it's roasted as well. You can see down here is from a supplier called Roastify. I threw them into Google and was able to find their actual website here. So if you had different questions about what they actually are all about, you could just come here. Of course, you could work with them directly. They do have that option on here. However, if you are using a Shopify store and you want to use Printify and you want to automate that entire process, that would probably be just a little bit easier. But this is a real company that is doing white label coffee. The key is now though, that as print on demand sellers, we can access stuff like this through a print 
content on demand company, which I think is pretty cool. And that's why I made this video. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with me that at some point the world of print on demand is going to expand and us as sellers are going to have access to lots of new products? Is that something that you look forward to or is your plan to just basically sell on Etsy for the rest of time? I personally am really excited to see what happens within the world of print on demand. I am in the process of starting a new print on demand store right now. I'm not quite sure if coffee actually fits into it, but maybe in the future, I may be able to do something with it. Or even if other items are launched down the road, maybe they could be a good fit for what I'm actually doing with print on demand. But I'm curious your thoughts. Do you think like some of those commenters said earlier that this is a terrible idea and that Printify should stick to printing? Or do you think that this marks a true turning point within the world of print on demand? Personally, I think this is a turning point and I am excited to see where we go next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.